Let's solve one numerical answer type question which I have taken from GATE 2015 Electronics and Communication paper. In this question, there are two sequences X1N and X2N and they have the same energy. Now suppose X1N is equal to alpha 0.5N UN where alpha is a positive real number and UN is the unit step sequence. Now assume signal x to n is equal to under root 1.5 for n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 and for all the other values of n x to n is equal to 0. So we have the knowledge that x1n and x2n have the same energies and we know signal x1n is defined like this and signal x2n is defined like this. Now using these three informations we are required to find the value of real positive number alpha. So let's move on to the solution of this problem. We know the total energy of signal x1n is equal to the total energy of signal x2n and we know the formula to calculate the total energy it is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of the signal whose energy we are calculating and in this case we are calculating the energy of x1n so we have mod x1n square similarly energy of signal x to n is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity mod signal x to n square and we know signal x1 n is equal to alpha 0.5 n u n so in place of x1 n we will write this therefore in the next step we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod alpha 0.5 power n multiplied to u n square. So this is what we have on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have summation n equal to minus infinity to minus 1 mod 0 square because from this definition we can see that signal x to n is equal to 0 for all the values of n except 0 and 1. Therefore, from minus infinity to minus 1, x to n is going to be 0. So we have mod 0 square. Then summation n equal to 0 to 1, we will have x to n equal to under root 1.5. So we have mod under root 1.5 square and then summation n equal to 2 to plus infinity again signal x to n is equal to 0 so we have mod 0 square and we know mod 0 square is equal to 0 and when you perform the summation of 0 you are going to get 0 similarly here also we will have 0 so we are left with this on the right hand side let's try to solve the summations further we are having un multiplied to alpha and 0.5 power n therefore we can perform the summation from n equal to 0 to infinity and inside the modulus we have alpha multiplied to 0.5 power n and then this square and on the right hand side we have summation n equal to 0 to 1 1.5 because mod under root 1.5 square is equal to 1.5 now let's move on to the next step in the next step we will simplify mod alpha 0.5 power n square we can write this as alpha square multiplied to 0.5 power 2n because alpha is a positive real number therefore modulus of alpha is equal to alpha and modulus of 0.5 power n is equal to 0.5 power n therefore we have 
summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha square multiplied to 0 0.5 power to n and on the right hand side we have 1.5 plus 1.5 because when n is equal to 0 we are having 1.5 this one and then when n is equal to 1 we again have 1.5 this one so 1.5 plus 1.5 is equal to 3 so we have 3 in our right hand side and in the left hand side we will have the sum of infinite gp we can take alpha square common when n is equal to 0 we will have 0 0.5 power 0 this means 1 plus when n is equal to 1 we will have 0 0.5 power 2 0 0.5 power 2 similarly when n is equal to 2 we will have 0 0.5 power 2 multiplied to 2 when n is equal to 3 we have 0 0.5 power 2 multiplied to 3 and so on so this is what we have on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 3 you can see that we are having the common ratio equal to 0 0.5 square if you consider this portion the common ratio r is equal to 0 0.5 square and as there is common ratio we can say that we are having the sum of geometric progression and here r is less than 1 but greater than minus 1 this implies we can use the formula of sum of infinite gp which is equal to a over 1 minus r now a is the first term which is 1 in our case now it's not a difficult task to calculate alpha we have alpha square multiplied to the sum of infinite gp which is a over 1 minus r this means alpha square is multiplied to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.5 square and this is equal to 3 let's simplify this we have alpha square multiplied to 1 over 0 0.75 equal to 3 when you solve it you will get alpha is equal to plus minus 1.5 therefore the answer is 1.5 because the question is numerical answer type so the value of alpha is 1.5 this is the answer